Good morning, Hamilton School community. I have the distinct pleasure this morning to have with me Mr. Nicholas, the winner of our 2013 Geography Bee here at Hampton Elementary School. And he's taken some time out of his busy schedule to uh, do an interview with me so we can talk a little bit about the Geography Bee and his experience here as a fifth grader at Hamilton Elementary School. Good morning, Nicholas. Good morning. I'm very, very happy to have you here this morning. Uh, the first question I'd like to ask you is please share with our school community a little bit about how you prepare for the Geography Bee. Um, in class with Ms. Hannes, we, um, we studied a lot with everybody and at home I did some quizzes with my uh, mom and dad. Oh, it's good. Well, I'm glad that your mom and dad were able to support you at home in your efforts to, uh, to seek the championship with the Geography Bee. I think that's very important. What was running through your mind as you answered that final question and you were triumphant in the Geography Bee? Um, this is exciting. If I don't win, at least I get second. But if I do win, um, it'll be great. And then I got the question right, and I was excited. Okay, good. One of the things I really liked about the competition is the level of sportsmanship. It was very um, heartwarming to see our student body, all 10, or actually we had 11 participants. All 11 participants really wished one another well. And although it was a, a tough competition, it did seem like everyone was kind of rooting for one another. So certainly kudos to our student body for that. Uh, now, what you've won is the honor to move forward and take a very difficult written test. Are you excited about that? Um, I'm excited and I'm nervous. Um, it seems hard from what I've heard from you, and I'm just excited and nervous. Okay. Well, being a little nervous is good because it will probably inspire you to give your, your best effort. How do you plan on preparing for the written test? Um, I'm going to study a lot in class and at my house, and I'm going to... Um, do a lot of quizzes and study with my teacher. Okay, excellent, very, very good. Well, you have had the, uh, the distinct honor of being a champion here in the Geography Bee. As you know, the Spelling Bee is coming up at the end of the month. What are your thoughts on the Spelling Bee? Um, I think that'll be good. Um, I think um, a lot of people will be in it, and I think um, it'll be one, um, person in our class will win. Certainly, we, we will have, have one winner. Um, as an elder statesman here, you're one of our fifth graders, and you've heard me talk often about how important it is that you as fifth graders serve as great role models for our younger students. What does that mean to you? Um, I think it's important that we follow our um, PBIS rules and that everybody's nice to each other and that fifth grade um, shows good examples for the lower grades. Okay, excellent, very good. My last question for you, Nicholas, as a student who's been here for five and a half years, what are some of your favorite traditions here at Hamilton? What has your experience at Hamilton been like? Uh, my favorite traditions are like Water Day and um, the Harvest Bay Festival and Mother's Day and Field Day. Field Day, okay, excellent. Again, I'm here with Nicholas this morning and we want to wish him well as he moves forward to take the written test for the Geography Bee. And we want to invite everyone to come to our spelling bee, and that will be on the 29th of January, and we'll do that here in our multi-purpose room at 9 a.m. Hamilton community, I look forward to seeing you all tonight at Bingo. Have a great long weekend. Monday's a holiday, and we'll be seeing you soon. Thank you.